Okay guys, so this is my long awaited vanity tour slash makeup collection. This has been so requested for me to do, I just haven't had the chance to do it and I've had this new setup for about, I'd like to say 3-4 months now and I absolutely love it. It's a big upgrade from what I had. I used to just have a little desk. This is like my vanity and I absolutely love it. It's where I spend most of my time so it's important for me to have a nice vanity. So I guess I'll just start with my desk which is from Ikea. Um, it's the Mickey M-I-C-K-E desk. I spent $70 on it which to me is very reasonable considering you could spend a lot of money on Ikea furniture or these kind of desks. It's the Mickey collection and it is in brown, black, and white. The drawers are obviously white and I have two drawers on each side and they're both white and the top is actually a um, brown but I keep it covered with a zebra print tablecloth and I got this tablecloth from Amazon so um, it could kind of like be protected and it wouldn't get ruined or anything like that so that is where I got my desk and um, I love it it's so spacious it has two full drawers which you guys will see and I store all my makeup in there and then I also have room at the top as you guys can see to kind of you know put on um, pictures over there and then over there is like my brushes if you guys can see over there is my brushes and over there is where I put all my pictures and stuff so um, I guess I'll just start with what's on the top and then bring you inside the drawers okay so over here I have all sorts of things going on as you guys can see it's kind of crazy um back here is obviously where I keep my brushes um, I just have various containers I'll show you this one I got from Marshalls and I just put some sand and pebbles I guess from I think I got the pebbles from the dollar store I believe or you could find it even at like a craft store and it just helps your brushes to stand up and so it's obviously pink and glittery and I just keep all of these like small brushes it looks really crazy right now because I need to clean these brushes and this is just like a week of putting makeup on they just kind of tend to get a bit scattered so I keep all my smaller brushes in here and um, it's the perfect little container. So you can find all sorts of containers at different places. Just keep your eyes open for them. So I keep all my small brushes in there. And then this is actually like I think a plant. I think this was like a plant thing. Like where you would put plants in. And I did the same exact thing. I just put more rocks in there. And then I got this little M decal obviously for my name Mariah from a craft store. And I keep my face brushes, so I have my C7071 brush, which is from Crown Pro Foundation Brush, um, concealer brush, airbrush concealer brush from Sephora, then just like a highlighting fan brush, and then a blush brush, and then my two favorite Sonia Kashuk brushes, this is the angled brush. And then this is the flat top stippling brush and I use this for putting foundation on and I really, really like it. So I keep the big brushes in there and then I have one more. And this one has kind of bigger racks in here. Um, but these work just the same if you can find these at a craft store or maybe like a dollar store. These work just the same. So I just have like my highlighting fan brush from Sephora. My flat top for blending. This is from Crown Pro. It's getting a little old. And then airbrush foundation brush from Sephora. And then airbrush powder brush from Sephora as well. So those are all my brushes. And then I have a little container. which Actually, this is like a candle holder from Bath & Body. But I don't use the small candles anymore. So I kind of just put some of the Urban Decay brushes in here. Um, different... I also have a kabuki brush. I don't really use this brush too often. This is NYX's kabuki. Um, so I kind of keep it in here. And then this is Tarte's brush for putting on gel liner. So I'll put 
put that right there. And then you come to the front and I just have hand lotions. This is Drenched in Pink from Victoria's Secret, Fresh and Clean. And then this one is Ed Hardy's Love and Lock. And I love the smell of this. I actually have the perfume, so. Then I have my Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray Matte Finish. My MAC Fix Plus. Then I have Urban Decay's All Nighter. And then Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner from Sephora. And then these are just two knockoff beauty blenders. They need to be washed as well. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pencil sharpeners. This is the Urban Decay Grindhouse. It's got the big and small. I love it. It does such a great job and it doesn't ruin the pencils. Um, it's a little bit pricey for a sharpener, but I wanted a really good one. So, And then I just keep my little bottle of face lotion. This is just Neutrogena's Oil-Free Moisture. Sometimes I forget to put lotion on and obviously before doing makeup, lotion is very essential. Then I also keep my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes over here, so when I need to clean up anything, I have them on hand. I also have a calendar over here, um, so I kind of just keep markers and pens if I have to write things down over here because it just so happens that up in this corner I have a um, calendar, so I just try to keep my pens with it. So this is this area. And then we're over here now. These are just like various different things as far as like face goes, foundations. I have my NYX HD Studio Foundation, Mix, NYX, well can't talk, NYX Stay Matte Not Flat. Um, I have my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I have another NYX HD, which is in Sand Beige. This one's in Natural, two different colors. Then I have Tarte's Clean Slate Pore, Poreless and then the Professional by Benefit Face Primers, NYX's Pore Filler. And I also have Victoria's Secret Pro Airbrush FX Face Primer. And then I have Revlon's Color Stay Whip Foundation, one of my favorite foundations. This is in Nude. So I keep all of my foundations in this front compartment over here. And my face primers as well. Then if you go next to it in here, I just have various different um, pencils of sorts like uh, I have NYX's Black Bean in here and then I have Max Burgundy Lip Liner, Makeup Forever's Transparent Lip Liner, then I have Red Lip Liner, um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, another NYX Eye Pencil Liquid Liner that's colored. Uh, glitter liner. I just keep all sorts of pencils in here. And then behind it is tons of lipsticks. Um, if anything, I would do a lipstick collection because I have so many lipsticks and I just don't have enough time to go through all of them, but I do keep my lipsticks here. And then behind it, I keep my lip glosses. These are like a few tart a few Stilla, um, I also have some MAC lip glasses, the Nikki Minaj lavender one. I just have all sorts of lip glosses as well and I can't obviously go through all of them. Then if you slide over here, I have mascaras, so I have Power Volume Collagen by L'Oreal, which I absolutely love this, and Maybelline's The Rocket. <clears throat> Then I also have my favorite of all time, Benefit They're Real. So I keep my mascaras in there and I also keep my liquid liner, but I don't tend to use li liquid liner. Um, I use gel liner more, but I do keep this if I need it. And this is Maybelline's Ultra Liner. Also have a pair of tweezers, which are always essential. And then in front of that, there's so many little compartments. I have a few lip tars. Um, lash grip, eyelash adhesive, always important. And then I also have um, Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in Greed. Just a different payoff. If you guys want to see, I'll show it to you quick. Kind of like a goldish payoff. I mean, you could use this alone or as like a highlighting color. It's very, very pretty. And then I also have the original Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, um, 
yeah, I have those two primers. And then I also have a smaller old packaging of Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And this is Lorax 3D Liquid Luster. So I keep that there as well. So that pretty much covers this whole entire section um, on this side. So if we slide on over to here, this is where I keep my Jordan lighted mirror. This is where um, when I film, this is the mirror I use. It's a little bit dirty, so um, you just turn it on. So it has a few different functions. It's got the day, office, evening, and home um, lightings. But sometimes when I film and I leave it in the daytime setting, it kind of casts a yellow shade. But when I go over to home, um, it doesn't cast that yellow shade. So when I film, I tend to use home. But if I'm not filming, I might slide it over today. But usually it just kind of stays over to this side because a uh, majority of the time I'm filming. So... I love this lighted mirror. I got it at Ulta. I believe it was like $30. I will have prices listed below of different things that I have. Um, I try to explain best where I get everything, but the majority of my things I just find. Uh, this little over here, I didn't tell you guys. This little setup where I keep my foundations and everything. Um, I got this at Marshalls. It's just like a plastic container. I believe you can probably find some similar containers and storage bins online on different various websites like Amazon and all that. So definitely just keep looking. But Marshalls is always a good place to look for things like that. And it's usually a reasonable price. So I actually just carry, uh, have a lighter over here um, because I do have a candle. Um, but now we're getting into spring, so I kind of have to get a new one. I have to go to Bath & Body Works when they have their next candle sale. Um, this is Frosted Cranberry, obviously a tad bit out of season, so we definitely need to switch that up a bit. Um, I have a little old picture of my boyfriend when he was young. I don't know, I just think it's a cute picture, so I keep it over here. He will probably kill me when he sees this video for showing you guys, but I um, keep my cell phone on my desk usually all the time. Then I have... This picture, which is like zebra print, I got this at Marshall's this holder um, of me and my boyfriend, a card from him, some different allergy eye drops because my allergies have been crazy lately. Um, also have like lotion over here, Zycam, and then another picture. This is a little dusty, but this is from Marshall's as well. I love these um, zebra print. Uh, frames. I cannot talk today, but this is that. So I kind of just keep pictures on this side. And then if you guys can kind of see, I also have um, a mirror over here. It's nothing really too special, but um, it kind of helps with doing like hair tutorials and stuff just to have a mirror. Um, and that's pretty much everything that's on top. Um, I've said like this from the get-go that I got this zebra print tablecloth from Amazon. You could probably find different tablecloths at different stores or even online. So now it's time to go into the fancy, fancy drawers. Okay, so this is my first drawer. Um, so basically it's got subdividers in it, little plastic subdividers. I got these at Target for a reasonable price. You can find all sorts of containers, like I said, different places, just keep looking. Um, basically over here, I just have eyeshadows. I kind of try to keep it as organized as I can. So, in the back I have like loose uh, pigment colors from Naked Cosmetics, which I got these at the makeup show last year. So I have like a purple, blue, pink, orange, um, different colors like that. Then I also have Overshadowed the Balm, which is like a loose pigment. And it's called You Buy I'll Fly Mineral Eyeshadow. It's really pretty. It's almost like a brown with like glitter pigment in it. And then I have two MAC eyeshadows that are just basically shadows, like single shadows. I try not to buy these anymore because I have so many palettes and um, I don't really like having singles on me, but I do. Uh, this one's in Club. You guys can see. It's basically just like a greenish, darkish color. And then I have this purple frosty one, which is called Parf Parfait Amour. It's actually one of my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. So I have those two loose ones. And I have this single and loving it hard candy uh, solo. It's just a brown with glitter. I have so many neutral colors, it's not even funny. And then I have some like uh, Urban Decay's Last Call. 
got this a long time ago and I have it in a palette, I believe. So I don't really use it. Then I have a Milani eyeshadow. This is called Girls Love Pink. It's very, very pretty. Some NYX ones. This is NYX's Dust Sparkle, NYX's Platinum Pink, NYX's Exotic Green, and then NYX's Deep Charcoal, Urban Decay's Baked. I think this is in two naked palettes, I believe. So, I mean, I have singles that I really don't even need, but I got them a long time ago. Um, this is Maybelline's Eye Studio in Sapphire Siren. I uh, like little palettes like this. Rimmel London's Quad Eyeshadow in Smoky Brawn. I really need to do tutorials with these, but I just haven't really been using them. This is also uh, Maybelline's Forest Fury. Got some greens. Greens are great for brown eyes to make them pop. Then I have NYX's Glitter Mania, kind of just like a glitter pigment. Don't really use it all that often. And then underneath that, I have, if I can get it out, Revlon's Glam Eye Kit. Just got like little for something. Maybe I'll use it for something in the future. Back here, I keep all my lashes. I have my 111s, 105s, 115s. All my lashes stay back here. And then if you come up here, it's concealers. I have Benefits Erase Paste. This is literally my favorite, favorite, favorite gel liner. This is Fluid Line Black Track by MAC. The best gel liner I have ever used. I love this concealer palette. It's Hidden Agenda by Sonia Kashuk. Uh, freaking so amazing. Um, I usually use the two. I don't use the bottom two. But um, I think the concealer is great. I love the consistency and I love the coverage. And then I also have Industrial Strength Boing by Benefit. Not as crazy as I thought it would be about this, though. Then over here, I have Color Tattoos. This is Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. Color Tattoo in Painted Purple. Color Tattoo in Edgy Emerald. And then I have Color Tattoo in Tenacious Teal. These are great for backdrops and eyeshadows. They kind of just help your eyeshadows to be more pigmented. Then I have Max Paint Pot in Bare Study, which looks like this. And then my favorite, favorite paint pot of all time, and I think everybody loves this one. This is Painterly by Mac. It's just, oh my god, so amazing. I love using this with the Naked Palette or like uh, Naked Basics or even the neutral colors from Mac. Okay. Then we move over here. And basically, I have highlighting and blush back here, a little bit of bronzers that I don't use over here, and then kind of keep my bronzers and powders that I really like to use in here. So I have NARS Laguna Bronzer. I've been using this a lot lately. I love this. It's just, it fits my skin tone perfectly. Um, so that's something I've been loving lately. I have this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. Then I have NYC's Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder, which looks like these. Victoria's Secret Makeup, this is in Goddess a Bronzer, which looks like this. Then I have Max Studio Fix Powder in NW25. Can't really use this anymore because I've been tanning, so... I'm not really using that as much as I would normally use this. This is CoverGirl's Press Powder, one of my favorite drugstore powders. Once again, does not fit my face. I've been tanning. Then I have Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte. Yes, I am a bronzing person. Now, this is the stuff I've been using lately. This is Mineralize Skin Finish Natural by MAC, and it is in medium dark. And it definitely fits my skin tone now that I've been tanning. So this is the powder I've been using, and I'm not sure how I feel about it because I just bought it recently, so I kind of have to try it out to let you guys know how I feel about that. Another, like, CoverGirl powder. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. This is Youngblood's Cream Blush or Highlight in Champagne Life. I got this at the makeup show last year, and uh, definitely can't wait to go back to the makeup show because I will be getting more Youngblood cosmetic stuff. This stuff is amazing. Um, it gives you such a pretty glow, and since spring is here and summer's around the corner, we all want the glow. And I also have this Lorac Take a Brow Brow Kit, and it just has the brown, the dark, and the stuff that kind of like keeps your eyebrows in place. But that should be over here. <laughs> 
And then I have Elf's Blush. And this is in Twinkle Pink. It kind of reminds me of like Orgasm or Super Orgasm. This is one of my favorite blushes. This is Full of Joy, which is a frost blush from MAC. I use it a lot. Then I have MAC's Gingerly, which is just such a pretty, like, skin tone color. MAC's Blush in Stubborn. Also really pretty, but more of, like, a fall. MAC's Crew Hey Sailor um, Highlighting. I love it because you could have, like, all different tones, or you could just use it all together. Dream Bouncy Blush by uh, Maybelline in Candy Coral. This is a weird consistency. I don't know. I don't really use it all that often. This is NARS Desire a Blush. This is one of my first blushes I ever purchased. NARS Orgasm. And you can kind of see how this e.l.f. Twinkle Pinkle is so similar. I mean, it's kind of different, but they're similar. Then I have Milani's Bake Blush in Luminoso, one of my favorite blushes. I just think it's gorgeous color. Some dark bronzers. This is a Tarte Hotel Heiress. Um, when I don't tan, I don't really use the darker ones. So I have a NYX one and a uh, NARS Casino. And then I also have Benefit's High Beam Highlighter. Don't tend to use this too often. It just sometimes doesn't come out the way I want it to. So that is this section. Then over to my second drawer, I keep all my palettes in here. I have my NYX uh, box of eyeshadows, 112 colors, um, my Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette, Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette, uh, Urban Decay's Urban Ammo, Urban Decay's Vice Palette, Naked One, Naked Two, Naked Basics, and then I have Hot Jersey Leopard Couture by NYX, and then my newest edition, which is a MAC palette. And I got a few different colors that I'm crazy about. Um, this one is, let's see, this is Brown Script. This one's Brown Script. It's a gorgeous color. Um, I got Woodwinked. Uh, Woodwinked is right there. Antiqued is right here. And then I have, what's this one? Let's see. Amber Lights. And then I think this one is... This really, really pretty pinky uh, purple is Stars and Rockets. And then this blue one is Aquadisiac. It's hard to say. Um, these ones are definitely going to be pretty pop of color eyeshadows. And then these are just more of like neutrals. But um, I just wanted to try MAC eyeshadows out. And so far I've been really loving them. I'm noticing no um, fallout. And, you know, my other palettes, like, I don't know, my Too Faced Smoky Eye has a little bit of fallout. You know, you expect that the MAC eyeshadows. I haven't really been getting it. So um, I keep all my palettes in here. I have too many palettes. I mean, this may not seem like a lot of palettes to you guys, but to me, I feel like I don't need them. I don't need Naked 1, Naked 2, Naked Basics. It's almost like too much. And then I also have a little hand mirror I keep in here. And then hair brushes. And then my camera that I actually vlog with stays in here as well. So that is everything in this drawer. And that pretty much wraps up the video.